we want you to add these edible flowers to your dish and prove that these edible flowers deserve a place on the plate. Chefs, your 30 minutes starts now. Good luck. Bruce, oh. <laughs> Behind. God damn it. <laughs> edible flowers, they're associated with extreme bitterness and extreme perfume. And that's something that requires really delicate touch. Patsy, what are you making? Uh, I'm making a mustard flower paste for my lamb rack with broccoli florets, arugula flowers. You know, Middle Eastern, Pakistani, Indian flavors have a lot of emphasis on floral notes. But this is a sudden death quick fire. No one is safe from the wrath of Top Chef. Carrie, what are you making? I think I'm gonna do something we call a fancy toast. <laughs> I don't know if other cities call that that. <laughs> It's just like a larger slice of toast with fun toppings. In this case, goat cheese, arugula, in this lavender scented olive oil and honey. And David Kinch has, adds a whole nother layer of super scary. I'm aware that a fancy toast could be a little simple, but it's a great vessel to not overpower the flour. <laughs> Sasso, why'd you choose your flowers? I don't like cooking with lavender. Toast? Why would you make toast for David Kinch? I want to put up a dish that I'm proud of. I don't want to just fall flat on my face. Chefs, you have one minute left. That clock's moving quick, dude. Oh, yeah. My hands are shaking. All right, Fatsy. Squeeze your butt cheeks real hard. It'll calm you down. <laughs> oh, my god, it's working. Thank you, Joe. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. No pressure. No pressure. Time's up. Hands up. Utensils down, please. Beautiful plates. Thank you. I chose the mustard flowers, the broccoli, and the arugula. I made a paste to rub onto the lamb. The chili oil is chili de arbol and fresno chilies, and the touch of orange blossom. I don't think I've ever had chili and orange blossom before. Taking advantage of the aroma as well. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Much. Thank you. Hi. Today I'm going to do a fancy toast. What makes this so fancy? I steep lavender in my olive oil, my honey, and it has a little goat cheese fig and a candied pecan. Walks a nice fine line between sweet and savory. Thank you so much. Thank you. David, who had one of our favorite dishes today? I think uh, Fatima did a very good job today. What I liked about the dish was the idea of using the flowers for a rub. Mm -hmm. Who else? Fancy toast. Lavender was one of the hardest ingredients, and it can be very, very floral. Of these two dishes, who had our favorite dish of the day? In terms of being really well seasoned and balanced, the toast was our favorite dish today. Woo! <laughs> My heart is officially stopped. I made David Kinch fancy toast, and he liked it. Sometimes what appears to be the simplest can be the best of all.